हेलो वेलकम टू फिजक्वेस्ट सो दिस इज द सोल्यूशन वीडियो फॉर सी एस आर नेट डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन पार्ट बी क्वेश्चन नंबर एट द क्वेश्चन इज अ बॉल इनिशियली एड्रेस्ड इज ड्रॉप्ड फ्रॉम अ हाइट एच अब द फ्लोर बाउंसेस अगेन एंड अगेन वर्टिकली इफ द कोफिशियंट ऑफ रेस्टिट्यूशन बिटवीन द बॉल एंड द फ्लोर इज पॉइंट फाइव द टोटल डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाय द बॉल बिफोर इट कम्स टू रेस्ट इज वॉट वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट four options are given and we need to choose the correct option so this question is based on the section classical mechanics and the concept involved here is the newton's law here we are having a ball which is dropped from a height so when a ball is dropped from a height what are the possibilities now the possibilities could be either the ball will bounce back and forth with the same speed at which it hits the ground so this situation it will be called a elastic collision or there can be another possibility where the ball will bounce back and forth with some reduced speed and ultimately comes to rest uh, so in this situation it is called partial elastic collision or there can be a possibility where the ball will come to rest once it hits the ground this situation is completely inelastic collision the example can be a water balloon hitting the ground or there can be another possibility where the ball will uh, or the object will bounce back and forth uh, uh, bounce back with higher speed so this is actually called super elastic collision now example can be when a cracker is hits the ground with some strong force now in all this situation the difference is the way in which the object bounce back after hitting the ground so this is indicated by the coefficient of restitution now coefficient of restitution is a very important uh, concept where the bouncing of the ball is very important like in the games of uh, tennis golf cricket etc this coefficient of restitution depends on various parameters such as velocity of the incident velocity of rebound the geometry of the object involved in the collision and the material of the object etc but there are different models uh, which define the uh this coefficient of restitution but actually according to the newton's model which is the most simplest one the definition of coefficient of restitution it is mathematically defined as the velocity after collision divided by velocity before collision now in this situation the question given question here i am talking about a single object colliding with the ground now when there are two objects collide with each other instead of velocity we have to use the relative velocity before and after collision so here in this question we are not given any data regarding velocity we are given height now how to relate this formula with height we know that according to newton's law of motion we have the equation v square minus u square is equal to 2as where u is the initial velocity v is the final velocity a is the acceleration and s is the distance now it is given that the ball is initially at rest and dropped from a height h that means its initial velocity is equal to 0 and height is h it's dropped from the height h so distance is h and acceleration is equal to g so that means from this u will be equal to 0 and a will be equal to g and s will be equal to h so v square is equal to 2gh or v is equal to square root of 2gh so here velocity is related to the square root of the height is proportional to square root of the height so this formula we can use here in this uh, coefficient of restitution formula and this will be equal to square root of height to which the ball rebounds is divided by height from which the ball is dropped so this is the formula we need in this question now this coefficient of restitution is represented by the term e 
now for different situation it will be the value will vary for various type of collision for perfectly elastic collision it is equal to 1 for partial elastic collision the value varies between 0 and 1 for complete inelastic collision it is equal to 0 and for super elastic collision it is greater than 1 now in our case what is happening here is here a ball is dropped from a height h above the floor and bounce, it bounces again and again vertically. Now here the coefficient of restitution the value is given as 0 0.5. Now if we the height from which the ball is dropped is h and let us suppose the height to which the ball bounces back after hitting the ground let us say it is h prime so this formula here e will be equal to square root of h prime by h which is given as 0 0.5 okay now we here the ball is here bouncing many times in now in our power, the question is you have to calculate the total distance traveled by the ball so we have to take a total of the height from which ball is dropped and the height to which it again bounces back and forth so all these total will give you the answer so here now h h prime is the height to which the ball bounces okay so let us suppose consider the first bounce when it first hit the ground so when it first hit the ground now here see from this formula we have to evaluate our answer now when the ball first hit the ground the first bounce here using this formula uh, of e we can write down h prime is equal to 0 0.5 square is uh, into h okay Here, this is square root of h prime by h is equal to 0 0.5 so h prime will be equal to 0 0.5 square uh, into h this is equal to 0 0.25 h uh, which uh, we can write in terms of fraction is equal to h by 4 now one thing you should note here is here once the ball hits the ground it bounces back till the height h by 4 again comes down to the height h by 4 so when you make a total we have to consider h by 4 twice now in the once it, now in second time in the second bounce once it hits the second time the ground here let us suppose the height to which it rises is h double prime so h double prime will be equal to 0 0.5 square h prime why because here the ball uh, when it hits at this point the height from which the ball is dropped will be here it will be this from this height that is h prime and up to this height it bounces so this h double prime so here this will be equal to 0 0.25 into h by 4 h prime we have already calculated here so we have put this value which is again equal to h by 16 now when it hits the third time the third bounce let us suppose the height up to which it uh, the ball rises is h triple prime which is equal to 0 0.5 square h double prime which is the previous case the height from which it is dropped now this is equal to 0 0.25 h by 16 that we have calculated in the previous step again which is equal to h by 64 so again I mentioned that here these heights also we have to consider twice because once it is ra raised and again it is dropped so now we have to make a total of the height the ball travels now one thing is here the ball actually bounces back and forth vertically till it comes to rest now we are here considering only three bounds because eventually as it goes on the height will be smaller and smaller and it will be a bit negligible you can say so 
uh, we can consider up to three or four bounds it will be enough it can give you an approximate answer okay so the total distance travel by the ball will be equal to h plus h by 4 plus h by 4 plus h by 16 plus h by 16 plus h by 64 plus h by 64 and so on so as i mentioned h will be considered once uh, but these three heights will be considered twice and so on uh, so this again we can write as equal to h plus h by 2 plus h by 8 plus h by 32 so these are added twice so this will give these values again here apart from the first term if we take common h from the rest of the term we can write this as which is equal to h plus h into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 32 and so on now if you consider this bracketed term we can say this is actually a infinite geometric series the geometric progression I'm talking about so when we consider in order to solve get the sum of this series because this series goes to infinity so in order to find out the sum we have to use a formula so for the in order for that we need the first term that is the first value of the uh, series and the ratio between the subsequent terms now in geometric series the subsequent uh, the ratio between the subsequent terms it will be the same that is the ratio between second and first the ratio between third and second and that is all so here in this situation the first term is a is equal to 1 by 2 and if the ratio r is equal to 1 by 4 that subsequent ratio because uh, 1 by 8 divided by 1 by 2 is 1 by 4 which is same as 1 by 32 by 1 by 8 so the ratio is 1 by 4 so if we have this uh, the first term a and the sub the ratio r the formula for the inf uh, sum of this infinite series will be s is equal to a divided by 1 minus r so when we put the val values here so it will be equal to 1 by 2 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 so this will be equal to 1 by 2 divided by uh, 1 minus 1 by 4 will be 3 by 4 so 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 4 ultimately it will be equal to 2 by 3 so when we put this value in this expression uh, the total distance traveled by the ball will be equal to h plus 2h by 3 which ultimately gives the value 5h by 3 so this is our answer now let's look at the option now if you look at the option here uh, option b is the answer uh, we have uh, got so the correct answer for this question is option b